Let's see. Good morning. I was up late. I don't know what I was messing with. I didn't accomplish very much. Um, as I've told you, uh, the apartment complex here has made an agreement with uh, Spectrum. And today is the day that it takes effect. Uh, somebody who already has which I did living here for I don't know how many years. I mean, a bunch of years I was using Spectrum, getting screwed by them, but using them. Uh, but uh, anyway, I've switched, you know, I switched to, who was it? Okay, right now I'm with Verizon. Is it Verizon? I can't remember who I'm with. <laughs> But today is the first day that the apartment complex here, you know, has made a deal with Spectrum. And uh, so from now on, when we pay our rent here, if we want to, you know, if you want to have, you know, internet service or cable service. Um, so anyway, I went and uh, signed up for it, so... Uh, probably tomorrow it's going to come because I just, this, today is the first day and I called the, the Spectrum people and gave them the information and uh, they said it takes one to three days by FedEx. I was expecting really that it would probably come today because the way they, other companies do things, uh, like Verizon and others, uh, you know, there, there's a warehouse or part of the warehouse that uh, for, you know, whatever delivery company it is, they have the things already stored there. And when things are returned, you know, they're returned there instead of shipped to wherever. So I thought it probably would come today, but uh, I just got a email saying that, uh, should be delivered tomorrow, so I can wait another 24 hours. I'm now. This is supposed to be 500 down, and uh, now in this apartment complex, if you're using, you know, uh, Spectrum, uh, We'll pay, when we pay our rent, we'll pay the extra 60, we'll pay $62 extra, man. So that's what we're going to do. So, should get the modem tomorrow and hook it up and see what kind of a speed we get. I guess let's see what kind of speed we're getting today. Um... Well, let's do it here. Let's see. Let's go with. Um, speed. That's it. Okay. Now we pay for 300. Down. You know, I, I just swear these people must be, uh, <laughs> they must be know what else, what the other, what the competition is doing and how they're, you know, how they're doing it because I've been getting, you know, 40 down. I've been getting 65 down. I've been getting 80 down. But since this thing popped up and since I'm going, you know, whatever, now I'm getting, you know, 160 and 180, and I just, it just seems like it's not a coincidence that they improved, you know, they flip a switch, I don't know what they do, I don't want to sound like some type of a conspiracy type person or something, but I just think, you know, so, anyway, we're paying for 500 down, and tomorrow we'll find out um, what kind of a speed we get. I'm paying for 500 down, but um, if I just got 300 down and it didn't go below 300, unless there's some type of, you know, a storm or something, you know, 
I, I would be happy. Um, but, you know, to, to pay for 300, which is what I'm doing now, you know, to pay for 300 and get 40 down, you know, and then sometimes it's 60 down and sometimes it's 80 down and, you know, maybe a hundred down, but I'd like to get a steady, I'm hoping in, uh, See, there's, you know, this apartment complex, all these apartments are wired. There's a, you know, a connector that uh, is on the wall in the living room. And uh, you just, you know, it's connected to the box. It's, there's one box for each building. And the inside those boxes are, you know, uh, connectors and that connector is running underground and coming in the wall of the living room there's a thing there so uh, when I get this all I'm going to have to do is just screw it in there and see what I get and you know if it's we're supposed, to, supposed to be 500 down if I get 400 down maybe even 300 I've really been they've I'm so sick and tired of all this. But if I get 400 down, I'm, and sure, something may happen, I don't know, um, a storm or uh, something you know, may happen, and so I get 300 down or something. But let's say I get 400 down. I'm paying for 500 down. I'll be paying for 500 down. And if I get 400 down, I'd be perfectly happy. But I don't want it to you know, be 40 down. And... Uh, so we'll see what, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be $62 a month that is, when we pay the rent, there'll be an extra $62 bill, you know, on there. We'll have to pay, we have to pay that. Um, uh, somebody just left a comment back this morning about this because I've been talking about it. There is one television set in this apartment. Uh, Darlene, the ex-wife, she runs it about 24 hours a day, seven days a week. She falls asleep. Falls asleep with the remote control in her hand, you know. So there's one television set. I don't have a television in my room. My son doesn't have a television in his room. There's no television in the living room. Now, Darlene has a computer that she uses that's in the living room. And she sits there for hours and plays solitary or something. She's not. I can't think of a of a guy. You know, I don't. Well, Civilization Six or whatever. I played for a long time and enjoyed it. You know, I played it before when it wasn't version six as it moved up. I you know I played it. Uh, but that's it. I'm not a game player, and I can't think of any other than. It. But she's she's not sitting there using the resort. You know, it's. In fact, you know. The things that she plays, solitary and a few other things like that, um, we can lose the internet once she loads it. Like if she loads, you know, uh, solitary, solitary, solitary. Uh, if we lose the internet, she can sit there and keep. And unless we lose power, you know, she can sit there and just play it. So there's no strain there, and my son has a laptop in his room. Now she has a. a computer in the living room that she uses when she's, you know, playing the games. And my son has a laptop in his room, and I have a computer in my room. And uh, I can't lie to you, so yeah, sometimes I, I have two computers going in here. Right now there's just one going. Uh, this is the Chrome box that I'm using in here right now. Um, Uh, I, uh, well, we'll see what happens when I hook this tomorrow, I guess it is, when I hook it up. We'll see what kind of speed I get. Um, I don't think, oh, I thought oh, quite a few people would probably uh, sign up for 
this deal through, you know, the apartment complex here. But I think it was yesterday, I think it was. Uh, they opened at 9, the office. And that was, now for people who already have, who are already, you know, paying for, um, who am I getting? Spectrum, yeah. Who are already paying for Spectrum, they won't have to do anything except pay the office here instead of uh, sending it to Spectrum. Um, now, since I just canceled with Spectrum about, I don't know, six months ago or less, they have to bring out a, uh, a modem and uh, I have to hook it up. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what else is going on? Oh, yeah. I have, you know, network cable. I mean, if I'm supposed to get 500 down, okay. If the modem, you know, it'll be used Wi-Fi to uh, send out its signal. If, you know, if I'm only getting 300 or something, then I'll go ahead and hook up, you know, and run, run the cable. I'll run the cable on the wall. And I, uh, I'm i not, I can't see very well. I don't have good balance. And I, <laughs> and I did that. I hooked up back, a, I don't know, a couple months ago, hooked up, you know, the networking cable and ran it on the wall down. And oh, that's when... I just recently signed up with uh, Verizon, and uh, the speed just kind of sucked, really. But it turned out that networking cable didn't help that much. So we'll see. It would be nice to, you know, to get 500 down, but I don't expect it. I'll be happy if there's 400 down. If there's 400 down, I won't try to run the I won't try to run the networking cable. I'll just okay, 400 down. I'll be happy with that. And I really don't use that much, in, you know, don't use that much internet. And people think, you know, that I do because I upload videos to YouTube, but. Now I will, if I get 300 and above that doesn't drop below, if I get 300 and above, and especially if I get 400, you know, I'll try the uh, live streaming of uh, my, my site. And, uh, but I, if I get 400, do I, um, do I want to run the cable? just so I can do live streaming. I don't know if I do or not. If you've been following my videos, but maybe you've only seen a few, my, my uh, cataract surgeries have been postponed until March. So I'd really like to get them taken care of, but they have been scheduled for March. Uh, the... Uh, The optometric, the eye people, um, you know, they give you a, a booklet like this, uh, and they really have, you know, done it well. They've got everything in here, you know, when your appointments are, what time, uh, what you can expect, a uh, paper that you have to have your regular doctor fill out about your, you know, uh, all kinds of and that's actually the reason that, that this was scheduled for 
uh, I think I was with this I think I was scheduled for the third or fourth I think to have my first surgery but um, my regular doctor could not they the office could not work me in for an appointment a simple appointment uh, you know just it's very you know this is that's it one page you know and it's like you know but he couldn't the office couldn't schedule me in so I had to cancel and they said okay we can get you into on in February and I said well let's just make it March so it's going to be March for that. Um, oh, but they're going to send me, you know, the the. I did, I was going to ask, you know, for it, but the, they were really nice. They're really well organized and everything. They, the lady said that I talked on the phone said, "When well, I will send you one of the, you know, uh, things." And I said, "Okay, great." I said, "That's really nice. It really works out well because it, because there's like." Two dates, I'm going to have two surgeries, you know. And then I have to go after the surgery the next day after each one of those. I have to go and, you know, show up. So that's four times right there. But then there's a time that you show up before, the, and that's, since that, that, that's been done, I've met the eye doctor and all that kind of stuff, but because it's going to be 30 days or whatever longer, I'm going to end up seeing her, you know, again, and they'll run the very same test that they did. And uh, so, quite a few visits in order to get it taken care of. Um, I heard Darlene, my ex-wife, talking to Hillary, our daughter, and she was saying, uh, well, Jim postponed, you know, the surgery until March, and then uh, she was saying, uh, I... She says, I think he, uh, you know, is worried about the eye surgery and that kind of stuff. And no, I'm not worried about the eye surgery because I know a bunch of people. Well, in fact, she's had, a long years ago, she's had, uh, you know, cataracts removed on both eyes. But um, I told her, which she doesn't seem to understand. Um I got a pop-up thing for messages or whatever. Um, and then I told her, I said, well, by the way, I heard you talking to Hillary, and I'm not worried about the surgery. Uh, what I'm worried about is pissing my pants while I'm there or whatever. Because I've got, you know, bladder problems, you know, prostate problems and that kind of, that kind of stuff. And I don't want to go there to have my eye surgery and then piss to bed or something, you know. So that's the kind of, or, or that I'm going to, you know, piss, you know, being driven there or driven back or something. That's what I'm worried about, that kind of stuff. Stuff that you shouldn't have to worry about, that, but you do, you know, when you're old. I'm 82, and I will be 83 here in a couple months. In March, I will be 83. Uh, let me show you, uh, let's see. Um, there's a lot here. Let me go ahead and enlarge this. I guess it won't enlarge very much, but actually it shrunk down a little bit, I guess, but there's a menu over here. Um, let's see. Okay, I've almost got, by the way, uh, I think I need about 20 more and I will have 4,000 subscribers. 20 more subscribers. And uh, please click the link and click the bell or whatever it is so you get notified. Uh, get an email or whatever when I post something. So, there, you know, there's a lot here with... Um, Let's see what we have here. Okay. So if you click that, let's see, let me show you again what that is. Up here at the top, you know, there's name and then it's, you know, HNBBS and then the number of subscribers and the number of videos. There's over 2,200, you know, videos. 
my, my videos that I've uploaded. Um, if you click right on that, I don't know if you can see the mouse. Yeah, you can see the mouse. Um, so there's a gift list for Jim Howard. If you click on that, you go here and you see uh, what I would like, gifts. Or I may have to end up buying them myself, you know. But uh, a few people have purchased something before for me. Let's see if I go back. Okay. Um, Amazon reviewed products. Now this is oh renewed. Okay. So these are product. You can go to this link. And by the way, I get credit if. In any of these links, if you go to Amazon with the link um, and you purchase something, I get something. But it's 1% to 3%, and I've had these kind of links to, you know, I'll talk about something, there'll be a link to it. One month, I made, I think, almost $75. Other than that, nothing. An entire year of, you know, $10 one month or fifteen dollars or twenty dollars I mean I just uh, but here are items that are have been renewed you know by Amazon and I bought a uh, I don't really like to buy I it just bothers me it shouldn't I mean I'm a poor man but I don't want a watch or a cell phone or a camera or something that has a scratch on it or you know the lettering is wore off or, I don't like that I'm not a wealthy person, but I still, you know, I don't like that. But these are items, these, the few items that I bought that have been, like, renewed or whatever have been mint condition, you know, so they do a good, good uh, they do a good job of that. Another pop-up, and these pop-up is from YouTube. Uh, so, you know, it's a pretty good deal on these. I'm going to click just for the heck of it on. I've got a Samson. Uh, oh, hub. And too, you know, with Amba, with, um, I'm going to have to turn off that. Because YouTube is pumping up over here in the corner, you know. Um. Here's a Samsung Galaxy 8, or see, Galaxy A10e, $84, you know, uh, refurbished or whatever they call it. You know, you can return it. Ooh, I can't afford this. I'm not sure I want it, really. <laughs> I really wouldn't want a 40-inch, 49-inch, you know, monitor. You know, I've got two monitors going here right now. It and they're working fine for me. It would be nice, and I'm just using the, you know, at nineteen twenty by ten eighty, you know, format. I think it would be nice if I had two new monitors that had higher frame rates and uh, that type of stuff. I think, but I'm doing fine with these. Here's a, now here's a Samsung Galaxy. I've got the uh, 9, whatever it is. Man, my desk, I can't even find. Wait a minute, is it over? No, here it is. Um, I'm going to find something that's got its screen on it. But, okay, this is this, my daughter gave it to me, a Samson S9. Uh, it drives me crazy, and I've switched back and forth between my, uh, I have a Motorola 
uh, with a stylus, the year 22. Uh, but this, it just, it just tries, the Samson, and it, it just tries to do everything. Don't, don't, you know, I've mentioned this before and repeatedly, you know, I go out to take a picture of the moon. I can't hardly see it now. But I go out to take a picture of the moon or a planet or planets in line or whatever. And so I start making a video, maybe taking a video of it. And boom, something pops up, you know. Do I want to do such and such? And it stops the video. And that type of stuff. And I have gone through the settings numerous times, numerous times, and it just keeps doing, uh, doing shit. And now, though, it's kind of hard for me to go back to my Motorola because I've turned on the uh, connection where these two are connected. My computer's connected to this. And, uh, you know, if I... It, I can, if stuff pops up for, you know, I can go work on, I can drag in and, but it drives me fucking crazy. I haven't wore a watch. Okay, let's see if I click on this. Nope. No, it's just going to take me there. I wanted it to stop the, I'll have to, you know. Okay, start casting or recording with link to Windows. Link to Windows, oh, I'm using this by a link to Windows will access to all of your information that is visible on your screen or played from your phone while casting or recording. This includes information such as passwords, payment details, photos, messages, auto, etc. Cancel, start now. Um, Wipe the screen or press the side button to use your phone. Well, I guess that wasn't the side button. I guess it's the other side button. No, that's the volume, I think. Oops. Oh. Okay. Well, when I was talking to uh, Spectrum this morning on using, this is the only phone I have. Uh, now we have a landline that's voice over IP that, uh, but I was trying to make sure I could hear the, I have hearing problems too. I have since I was in first grade. Uh, but I was trying to turn the volume up uh, on the person I was talking to using the volume on here, you know, I was on the phone and turning it up, nothing. And, uh, but then I just, and I never even used the volume, <laughs> I didn't know there was a volume control on this thing, you know, on the case or, you know, on the cell phone. Uh, um, oh, okay, on my screen. So that's showing for you, is it, uh, let's see. No, it's not. The, uh, my Galaxy Note 9 is not showing on, it's showing on my screen here, but it's not showing on what's going out to you. I wonder if I could drag this, I bet it disappears. No, it shows up, doesn't it? Yeah. Cat versus ox versus cat, full video. Oh, right. 
deck with it. So, anyway, I got enough to keep me busy. I got to get this stuff put away. Like I've mentioned repeatedly to you people, there is just so much stuff in here that I, and always when I need something simple, a power supply, uh, I don't know, whatever you can think of, sound card, whatever. I think it's the G5, the original sound blaster card or whatever. I can't drag it over and show it to you because I, the cable's too short, but it, it's finally a working oak. I mean, in the past that worked okay, you know, coming out, and, 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 now it's working okay. It's hooked up and it's just working fine. Um, I hope I don't, but I'm thinking about uh, moving these two monitors. Oops, me. I don't know what in the world they're beating on outside. It's over next door. Over next door is a uh, large place that has people that need, it's not a nursing home, it's, but for people that, I think they, I think they get it, you know, discounted and I don't know exactly what it, you know. Uh, I'm 83, Darlene is, uh, well see, I was 26 and she was 18 when we got married, so she's younger than I am. But she, well maybe that's good for her, she is, uh, thinking that, well, you know, when, that she'll be able to move into a place like that and that things will be taken care of. No, they, no, they won't. There's a whole bunch of people over there that are old mm -hmm. and have other problems. And uh, they're going to be, you know, drinking. They're going to be pounding on doors. They're going to be, it's, it's not what she thinks, but maybe it's good that she does think that, oh, yeah, you know. Because she's had some op she had cancer several times, and uh, uh, and she had to go for a little bit into you know out of the hospital, but into a, a care facility for a little bit, very short period of time, and then she was able to come home. And uh, the places that she went into were basically, you know, nursing, you know, RNs or maybe LPNs, but. Uh, she got good care and, you know, got good food and that kind of stuff. But when she gets old enough and whatever, and I think she's old enough now, she's confined to, well, to a wheelchair, you know, bed or wheelchair, that's her choices. Uh, I think that she just thinks, oh, well, I can just move into one of these places, you know. It's not, they're not going to be pleasant. You know, I worked hospital security for 30 years, and I saw people coming in, you know, by ambulance from these nursing home situations, and, you know, they had bed sores on them and all kinds of stuff, and a lot of times they would come in and the nurses would, you know, see them, you know, examine them and see them, and the doctor and everything would examine the patient, of course, and then the nurses would call a hotline number and, you know, say that, this needs to be investigated. This patient hasn't been, been taken good care of in beautiful Savior's uh, nursing home or whatever, but Darlene sees it. And maybe that's different. I mean, maybe that's good for her so that she won't be. Um, you know, surprised. I haven't bought a other thing that popped up, you know. I haven't bought a lottery ticket in years. Uh, I wouldn't mind buying a just one, one lottery ticket whenever the drawing is big. And I'd want to buy it right away. And uh, now I've told Darlene, you know, that she's opposed to spending money. She's opposed to buying a lottery ticket. And she's opposed to you know, going to a casino or something like that. But 
I would just want one ticket only, and my son would buy a bunch of, and he's, he's won a few times. In fact, when he turned 21, I took him to the casino in Kansas City, Missouri, and he won, I forget what it was, almost $2,000 or whatever, first time. And then I told him, I said, no, you're not going to, but you should not play anymore, and you would be a winner. But then, of course, he... Um, but um, the reason I would want one ticket on when, it, when they think it's big, because uh, you know, I've told this to Darlene a few times. You have to tell, I have to tell her a few, th- you know, it doesn't do any good. I have to tell her repeatedly, 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 repeatedly. Also, she doesn't really listen to me. Now, if you out there are, oh, if you're saying, uh, Jim, I can understand why, because, you know, you talk about all this stuff, or you repeat yourself over and over again, or something. So, shame on you. <laughs> but, you know, I've told her. You know, well, she'll say, uh, "Well, you're not going to win." And I and I'd say, I always say, "I know, I'm not going to win." You know, a million dollars or whatever, a hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand. I'm not going to win. No, zero. You know, I know that. And then I explain to her, you know, hey, when I get this ticket. And it's been that way for years, you know. I get the ticket, and let's say it's for, you know, $100,000. And then I think, okay, as I'm walking someplace or sitting in a doctor's office or whatever, and with, you know, instead of playing something on my cell phone or whatever, I'm thinking, okay, let's see. I'll give each one of my four children X amount of money. I'll give my ex-wife X amount of money, and then I'll do such and such, and and that's fun thinking about thinking about that, you know, like working it out in my mind. I know that's not going to happen, but then as the, as the amount of money gets bigger, you know, then it's like, oh, okay, and I wouldn't dare give Hillary, you know, that amount of money, you know four-way or five-way or whatever, you know, however I would do it. And that's the fun part, thinking about that. And, uh, uh, you know, well, because Hillary would spend it all helping animals that needed help <laughs> or doing something like that, you know. And uh, and I think about, you know, I think about that or whatever. But, um, um, it's just... You know, it kills time. Like I'm walking down to Brahms to get some, to get a bag of burgers or something like that. So it's a long walk, you know, down there. And I, well, I can't make it up the hill now, <laughs> so I'm not walking to Brahms anymore. But um, then, too, Darlene will say the same. She says the same things, and I tell her the same things, and I think, why do I even bother? Because she doesn't actually listen to me. And, uh, but I will, oh, she'll say like, well, you know, if you won, and then she'll say something like that indicate, you know, like, oh, you'd be so, you know, you know, whatever. And I, I, and I tell her, no, I wouldn't. You know, if I won a million dollars or a hundred million dollars or whatever, I wouldn't jump up and down. I wouldn't go, whoops. <laughs> I wouldn't go hooray, hooray, you know, that kind of, I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't. Uh, I couldn't go on a game show, you know, these game shows, you know, let's make a deal or something like that, because they scan those, you know, they practice with those people, you know, to make sure they're going to react, you know, and jump up and down and jump over the furniture and that kind of stuff. And No, I don't, you know, I don't do that. I have speculation as to why I'm not that way. And if you watched all my video or watched the right video, you probably might have figured it out. You might have said, oh, wow. But no, I wouldn't. Now, what I would do is, you know, like if I won a million dollars in a lottery uh, or something, I would just, wow, okay. Come on, I get a piece of paper and I just start making, okay, you know. This much goes to so and so. This much goes to so and so. This goes to a good cause, you know. Depending on how much I, you know, the more I won, the more going to the good causes or whatever. Uh, but I wouldn't, you know. No. 
even like when I, you know, arrested people, you know, the, the doctor or the nurses or whatever would say, him, you, you, show, you didn't show any emotion at all, you, you know. No, I don't, you know. Uh, maybe that's why she, maybe that's why the wife wanted, <laughs> wanted the divorce. Although in her mind, I was the one who asked for the divorce, even though I did not. Uh, but in her mind, that's, that's the way, you know, that's the way it is. And it doesn't do any good to, you know, you know, correct her and say, no, you wanted the divorce. Because she's got certain things, you know, very selective memory. And if you were to hook her up to a, a polygraph, you know, a lie detector, she would pass it because she thinks that that's, um, so maybe that's a good thing for somebody to have, but I don't think so. Um, now I have trouble, uh, like I'll see something here, like somebody's a, I'll watch CNN news or something, you know, here, and They'll say, uh, Mary Poppins, you know, uh, star of it, you know, died at 100 years of age or whatever. And then, you know, I'll go in the kitchen to get something and I'll say, oh, by the way, uh, uh, some, some movie star died and I can't remember who it was or what the age was or, you know, it can be a, you know, a news story. And so there's something to do and maybe it has to do with Where's my book? Yeah. Maybe it has something to do, you know, with this. About one or two percent of people have this. Now you can have, you know, degrees, of course, I mean, of, you know, of uh, difference. And this is, as, as an example, it is... Um, well, you can try it yourself, you know. Okay. Uh, can you close your eyes? Just close your eyes. Okay. Okay, can you... Can you see a circus clown? Uh, can you see a fire truck? You know, that type of thing, you know. And... One to two... One to two percent of the people... Now, now, of course, it varies with, you know, it varies with people. Um, one time, I can't remember the circumstances. I'll have to kind of make it up because I cannot remember the circumstances. But uh, I think Darlene was, this is, we were married, you know, a long time ago, newly married or whatever. And I forget what the, I forget what I said. I said, you know. Oh, I can't remember what I'm going to make this up. Uh, would you like to see the uh, Elvis Presley movie or something? What about that? You know, whatever. And then she said, well, I don't have to. Uh, I said, why? And she said, well, I can just close my eyes and I can see Elvis Presley, you know, dancing, singing, and all that kind of stuff. And I said, uh-huh. And then I asked her again. And then I just, I just totally forgot about it. Well, then later on, years later, and several times something like that came up. And uh, then I realized for the first time that people could close their eyes and pull up an image of somebody. And uh, a, a person, or it could be any, you know, anything. And they can see it in varying degrees. Now, one to two percent of the people have that. Of those people, some people have it like I do. I can close my, I cannot pull up anything. Which being a security officer and being a police officer was a bit of a problem to me, <laughs> for me, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, so I, I learned that I had to uh, deliberately, you know, 
put into my memory saying it, you know, putting it in my memory that way. You know, the, the guy has a mustache or something, you know. Had to put some of that information or the, the car was, and I have to concentrate, okay, that's a Ford, you know, two plus two or something. I don't know anything about cars, never did, but, you know, something, have to actually put that in my, and but then still I can't see it. You know, I can just recall it from the other part of the memory, but I can't close my eyes and bring it up. Bring it up. Now, um, I have it 100%. Cannot see, I cannot pull anything up. Darlene can. She says she can, you know. And uh, Darlene and I have four children. Uh, grown, of course. My oldest and maybe the smartest, although uh, Ken's awful smart too. Um, and then my other two are not so smart, <laughs> but they're, they're okay. Well, not one of them is not okay, but um, one of them has schizophrenia. That's something I tell you. Um, but LaDonna, my oldest, and she made a TikTok video about this, by the way. And she gave a lot of information in her TikTok video for people who don't understand. And for phasia, I got to find that link again where it says, where you can, uh, if you happen to know where it is, I'll find it. I've used, I need to put it on my desktop. So, uh, so I can call up a, a word and see how to, and it, says, it tells you, you know, it says the word. But anyway, uh, LaDonna, same thing. Uh, nothing. Cannot see anything at all. Um, now the rest of the people, you know, some people don't see anything at all out of that one to two percent of the people that have this problem. And uh, I think that, although I can see where it would be a problem, if, if you are a kid in school, let's say grade school, and I think they should check at some, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, I don't know at what point they could, you know, a person could adequately, you know, do that. But I think you should find out but on the other hand, I could see where there'd be some discrimination. Let's say, uh, let's say that you want to be a police officer. If you got tested on that, then I, I could see where the police the police department might say, uh, "Sorry, uh, not with anthracasia." Now, of course, people very it, you know they, it varies. Not everybody, most people you know, eight out of 10 or something like that, they can pull up something. Um, anyway, when it came up, it turned out that I have, I see zero. Uh, and I think maybe that's why I'm not interested in looking at, maybe that's why I'm not interested in looking at porn. Now reading like penthouse letters or something, oh, okay. Why, you know, penthouse letters is there are there so many guys or whatever wanting to have sex with uh, women who don't have a leg or something? They don't think, what is it? But, you know, but like a uh, porno movie that shows no, you know, for, why doesn't it show, why doesn't that really turn me on? And is that, it must be tied in somehow to this. So there's other things tied in, you know, with this. I have trouble like with numbers. I have to be careful with numbers. Uh, I'll forget how much something cost. Uh, and I'm sure that this is tied in with this. I have to, if I go, I don't, we don't have a car now. <laughs> I haven't had a car in quite a few years, but if I go to a drive up pump and put gas in the car and then I go in, well, one, I have to remember, of course, I could see the car, okay? I would know that's my car, you know. Um, but I wouldn't remember what 
pump I was parked at. And I had that happen one time in Florida. I pulled up at a place that was a whole bunch of cars were there. Well, I knew where my car was. But um, you had to walk. And it was two lines lined up inside there. So I'm in the line. And uh, I forgot to really, you know, commit to the memory, you know, ten dollars or whatever, you know, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars or whatever. And I just went in, and I'm in. The, and the, the guy says uh, ten dollars, and I said, "Yep." And so then I paid, and then so I went out, and then he came out after me with a a look like I was uh, Jack the Ripper or. Uh, uh, name some mafia boss or something or other. He looked at me like, oh, you, you know, you uh, dishonest person or something like that. And he said, you know better than that. And I said, what? And he said, you know, and I forget what it was. I, it was $15 and you only paid 10. And of course, I don't, I didn't remember, you know. And I went in and then, the other people in the line were looking at me. Oh, God, you know. <laughs> and what am I going to say? You know, my oldest daughter, when I told her about this, huh? And then she said, I, I, then she emailed me or whatever and said, I checked and I see nothing. And now her, uh, her husband has a, a master's degree in, uh, what is it? Starts with a P. I can't remember which one it is. Anyway, so he's a smart, pretty smart guy. Um, so he told uh, his wife, you know, the Don, he says, no, you can, you know, uh, you can pull up information, just close your eyes. She says, no, I can't. And then finally, well, then he, this is all happened, when this all happened like when she found it, when I told her and then she found that out. And then she says, okay, well, uh, she, she, she said, uh, he asked if, uh, you know, she said, or he said, you know, ask Jim if he can, if he, can, if he dreams. And she says, you know, uh, he wants to know if you dream. And I said, yeah, I do. And do you see anything? And I said, yeah, I do. Not in great, you know, not in great detail and everything, but I, yeah, I see, I see dreams. And then, then he was saying, well, then he doesn't have, you know, I'm not sure he even thought there was such a thing, you know. He said, well, then he doesn't have that if he can dream. And I said, well, you can tell him he's wrong. <laughs> Uh, because I do, I can dream, but I cannot pull up anything at all. And uh, so, so that's a, a, a test for you. See if, and ask your family members unless they think, unless they're going to think you're crazy, you know. You know, I mean, just do this yourself. It takes, uh, well, it's not Christmas time, but can you close your eyes and see a Christmas tree? Do you see anything, you know? So, oh, so I've, I've talked about this before a little bit uh, on my site here. I think that in, it would be helpful in, like, school to test the kids. You know, you might do, some schools might do a hearing test, which I took in the first grade, and, uh, or was it, it was, no, my ear, hearing problem hit my infection or whatever it was. No, it was second grade. So in second grade at the school, Catholic school that I went to, I was surprised Catholic schools don't have any money generally. And, uh, but they did a hearing test, and, you know, the school, gave me the thing to take home, you know. And I could even look, you know. Uh, oh, shit, of course, I didn't say, oh, shit, you know. Because <laughs> I went to Catholic school. 
And I thought, this is not good. <laughs> I can even tell this isn't good. It was a printout, sort of a computer printout. My parents never did anything, and I never did everything, uh, anything about it. Uh, well, there isn't anything you can really do. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, if somebody's, say somebody's, in, you know, in school and he wants to be a pilot or an astronaut or something, you know, no, you're going to be, they're not going <laughs> to. Now, they may not know what it is. I mean, they give you some other type of a test or something. And they may not, uh, I'd hope that they would, but yeah. On the other hand, I can see where, you know, say you just have it a little bit to make it, say you have that thing a little bit and say there's something you really want to do and then the school or uh, whatever it is is, no, you uh, can't do that. That would be real discrimination against somebody, you know, for something and maybe they are at a level where they can, you know, do that. Anyway, I'll put a link below. In fact, I'll put a link below uh, to my oldest daughter's, LaDonna, to her TikTok thing where she talks about that. Because she really does a good job on it, you know. I've been talking about an hour and <laughs> I, uh, there's some more more stuff about this. Um, and then, of course, well, it's not connected with this, but I'm one of those people who, I, is it called tendonitis? I think tendonitis is in your elbow. This is, is it ten? You see things on, in fact, on, you see them on CNN at the bottom of the page where they want to say you something, you know, of CNN, where they talk about, you know, if you hear crickets in your ears 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you hear, because it can be different things. And unfortunately, I have had that for as long as I can remember. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it sounds like loud crickets going off in my ears. And they've just recently discovered it's not in your ears. It has nothing to do with your ears. It's in it's in the brain because they're able to do some type of a scan and they can, you know, somehow see where it is, you know, what area or something. But uh, so of course I have hearing loss, not because of that. Well, maybe that did start after the hearing loss for some reason. I don't know, but I worked all my life, usually two jobs. And I, when I worked, I gave up no matter what I was paid, no matter what the job was, you know, whether it was dangerous or whether I was, it was cold, you know, or extremely hot. I always did my, you know, job. I never cut any, never cut any corners. I mean, I uh, worked security at a aircraft at a uh, airport, and the uh, air traffic controller at night on the third shift. There was just one. Actually, there were two, but they had a uh, understanding with each other that. One would sleep, and one would be at the tower, you know, in the tower. The only problem is I went up a couple of times to the tower. Now, the person did wake up as soon as I opened the door, and I guess the person would have woke up. You know, they, they weren't sleeping. I mean, they weren't laying down, you know, with a pillow or whatever. But And if you work midnight, I worked midnight shift for years. Wow. And if you work the midnight shift... I got sidetracked again, didn't I? Anyway, um, I've had a number of problems, but I always, um, 
I always made it, you know, I always worked. Usually two jobs, you know. Working the midnight shift, by the way, there's a lot of jobs on the midnight shift. And it's bad for your health. It's bad for your, uh, if you're married, you know, it's hard for you on your, your, your wife or husband or your family, all these things, you know, all these things. And I've suffered a bunch of them and do suffer a bunch of them. But I still always just did my, you know, I wouldn't think of not doing my job. I worked with guys like security or whatever where there was like a parking lot someplace. Down there that, that night on the midnight shift, there was maybe nobody in that parking lot, you know. And there would be a, maybe a notebook or something down there. Um, and so you'd have to get out of the car and go and, you know, write down the date and the time that you were there, you know. One of these guys would come on duty or something or other, and uh, he'd just go and fill it out for the week or whatever, and they never go there. Uh, I worked at a, in a hospital where there was a nursing uh, uh, school uh, for RNs, and it also, um, they had a dormitory there where they could, you know, and the... Uh, Okay, the security officer, who was a female, five days a week she worked there. For a while, she got fired eventually because she we had to go to the police range every year and shoot and uh, to qualify on the police range. And uh, she had trouble shooting. But she had a friend who was one of the two uh, people at the police range, and he would fire some rounds for her. Well, let me just say, check your gun. Boom, 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 you know. And then she would always pass. Well, finally, that you know, they found out, and she was uh, fired, and uh, from security, and uh, so I had to fill in for a while till they hired in somebody for her spot. For two, I filled in two days a week. Somebody else filled in the other five or something. And uh, but I, uh, I just always you know, did the job no matter what. And uh, I'm proud of that fact or whatever. Really, I was really troubled by the airport thing or whatever. Uh, uh, bothered by that, but I didn't report to anybody. And this is the first time, first time I've ever mentioned it. Uh, so, anyway, oh wait, I gotta remember, I'll put a link to LaDonna's thing because she explains it really well, and I'll do that right now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Okay.